right, so hi guys, welcome back. I just finished recording the last episode for The Dark Descent, and it was amazing. I would rate the game like a 10 out of 10. So now I'm going to be playing the side story, Justine, that came with the 1.2 update to this game. And I am pretty psyched for it. After this, I'm probably going to be filming A Machine for Pigs because Frictional Games is going to be releasing Soma sometime in 2015 and I want to have all these games done. Um, which also means I'm going to be playing the Penumbra series. Um, I might start recording that soon and I might be doing dual uploads alongside this and Machine for Pigs for Penumbra. So if you guys would like to see that, let me know. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into this. There's something outside the door. to look for me, for this is a voice from the past. I bid you welcome to my cabinet of perturbation. It is my perturbation. study of the human psyche, specifically yours. A set of recordings have been prepared to chaperone you through the chambers ahead. There are a few parts to this study, and it is up to you, not only to pass, but to figure out what elements are important. Please go on, move into the next chamber. Just remember, they can all be safe. There is always a way. They can all be saved. There's always a way. Oh, the, the lantern. We have a lantern. Oh, shit. I have no oil for it, though. I hope... Whoa. Wow, that's pretty clever. But, um, I hope I don't run out of oil like I did last time because... I feel like that took away from the game when we were running out of oil. Shit. I have no idea what to expect, you guys. So when like wind chills do that, um, I I feel it. Like I end up feeling it. That happened when I was playing the first game. Fuck. What the fuck? be the monster music or it might not be. I have no idea. I think my approach will be if I see, if I hear that music I'm just gonna hide because it was playing when it was outside. Fuck. I just, I just picked up a whole broken ladder and put it in my inventory, okay? <laughs> oh my god. I'm so 
so scared. I don't... This reminds me of the prison, which was like the scariest part of the last game. It, which makes me wonder how long this game is. I don't think it's as long as the main game at all. Well, now it looks like the jail. so close I just saw it go out that door I can't do this you guys I'm already freaking out shut this I don't know la 22 avril 1858 so okay I'm I'm guessing we're in France or something. As you very well know, the chief of police in Calais has turned down my request to pursue Justine Florbel for stealing my son away. Ever since their affair started, Al Aloise, my son, has forsaken his duties to his family and failed to pursue his career. Since the law seems unable to find any crime within the realm of Mademoiselle's Justine's actions, I will ask you to receive Dr. Victor Fournier later this week. He is a respectable alienist and expert in the human psyche, and he believes he may have found a legal way to incarcerate her. If he is able to diagnose her as an hysteric, it would provide you an ample excuse to have her locked up. I trust you and your urgency will your agency will not turn us down. Cordelement Lucienne Racine. Okay, so Justine is the woman who locked us in here. And her son is also in here. So maybe that's who we're trying to save. We're trying to save Aloise. Um, I have no idea. I shouldn't be trying to figure out the plot this early because I'm just gonna guess wrong. But it's always fun to like try to figure it out. Let's just check out all these cells. What the best. I remember in the other game, a bottle like this had a key in it. Guess not this time. Um, just trying to see if I can find any oil or something. Or notes or objects. Just anything. Yeah, we're definitely playing a woman. Because when she jumps, she sounds like a female. No items. But there's some weird shit going on. Whoever you are, if you could help me, I would be much obliged. the door no why would it activate the door the door's locked um i gotta be smart because i don't want to fail 
I know I am not as talented as Mallow or as strong as Bazil, but I am certain my love is truer. Do not, do not my scars tell you so? I will continue to cut myself as long as it pleases you. I would even kill Bazil if you wish. I know you say you like it, but he is hurting you. I will trick him to consume the bromide. Poor Justine, I will help. Just ask me to help, Eloise. Holy fuck! He's like mind washed. I saw this earlier. What the fuck? Oh. Help me, please help me. I'm trying, dude. I don't see a key around here. I thought it might be in that bottle or something. Um, let's try to get up onto the roof. It's probably up there. Can you hear me? I don't you trust that switch. I don't. I don't trust the switch. Like, I'm following my instincts always in games like this. Because there's always a way, she said. There's always a way. Anyone there? broken ladder so maybe that'll help. I just remembered. Oh shit. Oh my god I did it. Oh shit. I don't see a key though. He was a friend and a colleague of my papa. I don't know if I saved him, but he's not bad. Fellow, a real bon garçon, but frail of mind. He puts up an impressive Good gentleman. front, but it is all an act, I assure you. Please, go on. We are just getting started. Oh, fuck. I think I messed up. I didn't save him. I didn't save him. I messed up. I should have pulled the switch. I didn't trust him. Because there was a fucking arrow right above him. Okay, let's see what this says. Travesty at the conservatory. Many Parisians have gathered last night to enjoy the performance of violin virtuoso Malo de Vigny. It was to be the grand premiere of several new arrangements of songs by fellow composer George Bizet. But the evening took an unexpected turn. 
Young Mallow Devigny turned up, visibly intoxicated. His violin cried as the bow jerked across the strings. The audience seemed forgiving at first, but started to boo the man off stage as he defaced the beloved song, La Rose at La Belle. The stress apparently got the best of the young musician as he threw his bow into the audience and finally collapsed. Mademoiselle Justine Flaubel, who was according to rumors romantically involved with the Monsieur de Vigny, looked quite amused by the event and had her two friends, Basile Giroux and Alo Aloise Racine, carry him off the stage. The evening was saved by the other musicians at the conservatory, who were able to perform a most delightful and impromptu concert in Malo de Vigny's absence. The audience showered their saviors with praise and calls for an encore, rewarded with spectacular pieces by both Offen, Offenbach and, and Chopin. <sighs> so, we need to find a cylinder or something. Hold on, I gotta check my time. Okay, we have plenty of time. keeps getting in the way. fucking friends that she has caught themselves. Have a, have a... Oh god. I don't like those fucking things. On this next piece, you should be looking for some divine inspiration. Time to delve into your spiritual side. What do you see? Is the man begging for mercy, or is he being blessed? Perhaps both. Father used to say there were no right answers. Have the light guide you. Have the light guide me? These look horrible. I have a bad feeling about that one because it looks different from the rest. He's probably going to come to life and kill me. Or can kill me. Like everything else. Always does. I have yet to find any oil at all. So tinderbox. Those have gotten pretty rare in this. Oh, like maybe not. What is this? Slide one. Results. The tests have been going well. The most long term and in a sense the most promising one is the light box. Having Justine choose a slide, essentially a mood, for every day is a great way to see the larger overall development of her mind. She definitely reads things into the slides I had not foreseen. Her remarkable imagination turns the characters into just about anything, and she is able to effortlessly reduce all of her experience into one of the four character slides. Using the puzzle lock has proven more difficult as she tends to always choose two slides with the characters facing the same way. I have asked her why this is, but she doesn't seem to fully understand what I'm asking. That's creepy. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what that means, but it's creepy nonetheless. I don't like those statues. I'm pretty sure one of them is a, a real person. Oh, I can't see at all. Oh, we're getting a lot of tinderbox, but I don't see. Um, Age 8. Today I flew outside with Clarice. We saw a bird pick out a snail. It carried it off and landed and landed on the lawn fence. The snail with the sh had a shell and it cracked. Clarice cried and I comforted her. 
the new maid heard us and came out and scolded Clarice for playing with me. The bird took off into the air. Today, I was the one with open eyes. Justine, age nine. Today, I played with the slides from Father's light box. Above all, I like the man standing to the right. Father asked why. I said, I said he likes he see things. He see things he likes. That doesn't make sense. Today I was the right one. Father said I picked the wrong side yesterday when I made the chambermaid cry. He wanted me to pick the one with the sword while I picked the man on the right. I never picked the one with the sword. Today I was the one kneeling. What the fuck? Today Father came for me in my room. I still couldn't look him in the eyes. He said I shouldn't feel ashamed and that I only tried to fill the void left by my mother. When he wasn't looking, I took the star stone from his collection. Today I was the one with the sword. Who are you? Who's there? A frame for the man, okay. I don't, I don't know what these are. You I'm trying to save you, dude. Oh shit. Um. Sprunenberg is a secret room under here. It's like the other puzzle. Remember that, you guys? secret door under there. I can see it. Can you guys see it? I can see it. But I don't know where the switch is. I am not seeing the switch in here, so I don't think it's in here. Let's go this way. I'm supposed to pick the one with the sword. Heart palpitations! Heart fucking palpitations! Oh, okay, so we use the slides on here. Um, a man facing left. Three is the man kneeling. door down. I gotta fucking hurry. I'm missing one. I'm missing a slide, but I don't know where it is. Shit. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna fucking do? Oh, here it is. This must be the one with the sword. Four. Four has the sword. No, wrong one. Oh wait, the kneeling man. The kneeling man. Oh fuck, I'm gonna kill him. I don't want to kill him. I'm sorry. Fucker. No, wait, the one with the sword. Fuck. One is the sword. Three is mercy. So I'm gonna do one three. Fuck, I don't, I don't understand this puzzle. I'm stupid, you guys. I'm fucking stupid, I don't get Our it. Father who are... Fuck, I forgot. Okay. One. Three. I will be thy Thy kingdom come. Thy will be <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think I killed him. King of kings, Lord 
of Lords. Fuck my life. And he shall reign not Oh God! Did that open it? It fucking opened it. I didn't do it right, you guys. I messed up. I messed up. I fucking messed up. I'm horrible. Open it! Use it! I wonder, is Father David with his god now? Maybe you helped him there. Don't you worry. I'm sure he didn't have a family. He oh probably God, wasn't even all that well liked. With the current political climate, I'm surprised someone hasn't killed him already. We can't all be saved. Some don't even want to be saved. Yes, that is a comforting thought. Saves up some trying. I fucking tried. I tried, you guys. I didn't understand the puzzle. what I wanted to fucking do today. Go! Go, girl! figured out how it all works by now. Are you enjoying my quips? I think they are quite clever. Not that I was ever much of a conversationalist. Poetry has always been my forte. But I digress. You should press on. It will all be over soon. Also, the police are here. Maybe they can help you. What the fuck, the police? You are not fucking framing me for this, lady. They didn't do anything to deserve this. I never found that cylinder either. I fucking killed one guy and I abandoned the other. I'm a fucking horrible person. I am a horrible bitch. I tried though, you guys. You know I tried. I tried to pick out the puzzle, but I sucked. Like, I didn't mean to. I really didn't. I'm sorry. Now we're in some fucking flooded, horrible dungeon. 
See, I start swearing when I get stressed. is that? Lover. Oh god, I forgot about the water monster. Thank god that bitch ain't in here. I can't do that shit. missing. I gotta fucking find that while there's a summit chasing me. Is it Aloise? Is it Bazile? Is it Mallow? Who the fuck is chasing you guys? Can't do this anymore. I'm getting too stressed. Oh, so I can carry the ladder, but I can't carry one simple cog. Oh my god, he's breaking it down! Hurry! 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 the consulate and they say they said that they will send you the permits you need for visiting Algeria. I wish you good luck on your search and that your findings will come at a lower price than mine. 
I'm at a loss with my studies. My daughter has become distraught and distant. I did little to control her behavior, yet I believe the very notion of my observation has made her this way. My scientific indifference to her tasks has not left her with an indifference opinion. She finds my lack of reaction disappointing. She judges me, and most importantly herself, by the results of the tests. The reason I have trouble finding any consistency within her character is because she tries different approaches to provoke me, and her actions only become more and more disturbing. Yesterday, I lost myself and scolded her. She was terrified and humiliated. It saddens me greatly to bring my studies to a close without seeing it to the end, but I can no longer justify my research. I have to amend my relationship with my daughter. You're a fucking horrible person. Fucking testing your daughter. Killing people in that box of perturbation or whatever it was. Every character in this game is a horrible person. Well done. You have triumphed. Conquered my cabinet. I wish I could tell you how you did, but alas, this is a recording. You will have to figure it out all by yourself. Oh shit, my sanity, I have to get out. Going this way first. Closing in on me. Without me. Without the doubt. Break it. Break it. Break the mechanism. Fuck, it's not working. It's not working, you guys. Did I mess up by not saving them? I couldn't. I tried. I failed. I fucking failed. I tried my best. Sham it. Sham the fucking thing. Sham it. Oh shit. Oh my god. Fuck. Fuck. Try everything! Try everything! There's gotta be something in this. There's gotta be something. This! 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 Try! No! I'm running out of... No! I'm running out of space! Shut! Fuck! Can I get out? Get out! It's locked! It's locked! I'm dead! I'm screwed! Fuck! I messed up! Oh shit! There's a dead body with a horn right there! Oh my god! Oh my god. Don't cry. Oh my god. She's crying. She passed out. That's not gonna help you. You're still gonna die. You're gonna die. And it cuts to black. This. This was the best one yet. Oh, fuck! So elaborate. It's just too much. We're Justine. We're Justine, Enough you of guys. This. Get up, Justine. Justine, I know it is you. I promise I'll get you help if you just open the door. It's already locked, but you can never be too certain. That's the one guy that I apparently I only saved one guy, you guys. Such intricate machinery. I can't for the life of me understand why he built this. I really should keep this door locked. You're a monster. Mademoiselle Justine, are you down there? Is everything all right? Of course, Clarice, I'm quite all right. Is everything ready for tonight? Yes, the goose is ready any minute now. The guests should be arriving within the hour. Did I hear voices from downstairs? I certainly hope not. 
Oh, silly me. <laughs> yes, yeah, silly Clarice. Oh, shit. That was fun. Um, I butchered that. I fucking am horrible. Um, so wow, you guys, um, that was pretty fun, though. It was fun, but it was, it was confusing. Like, the puzzles were way beyond my level. I thought I was good at puzzles, but apparently not. I got the one, I got the first one. The first one was okay. The second one was confusing. The third one I would have got, but the, the, somebody was chasing me, so I didn't, there was, I noticed there were doors on the left and the right in that sewer part. I'm pretty sure if I checked those, I could have saved that one guy, but, um, I had time too. I did. I had time, but I thought it was right behind me. Uh, I could have saved two. I could have saved two. I could have done that. I could have got, gotten two out because there was no way I was going to get that second one. Um, I could have got the third one. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to be playing a machine for pigs and penumbra next. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching you guys. Bye.